Hello my dear family members, today I will discuss a new coding question which was asked on Capgemini Exceller exam. The question I am going to discuss with you today that was asked and repeated in many other companies as well. So give importance to these coding questions and don't skip any moment right. So let's see what's the question. Write a program with a function rotate array comma d comma n that rotates array of size n by d elements and input format is n is the size of array and the elements of array then d is the number uh, how many times you have to rotate the array right and the output format is a single array and the sample input is 5 is the number of i mean the number of elements and the elements are 1 3 5 7 9 at first then 2 is a number number of times uh, that is you have to rotate the array right and here you have to rotate the array elements by two times in the uh, right side right so let's see so at first uh, if you rotate then nine will come at the first position then every element will be shifted uh, by one position right and in the second time uh, the seven will be shifted to the first position and all the uh, rest of the element will be shifted to the right uh, right side right so that's how 79135 will be the output right okay let's see another example and let's make it more clear okay so 513579 right so 513579 right and let's say now the rotation i mean uh, the number of times is three so what should be the output so at the first rotation you will achieve nine one three five and seven and in the second uh, rotation uh, the seven will come at the first position and then seven will come at the first position then nine then one then three then five and in the third rotation the five will come at the first position so five sorry five then seven then nine then one then three right so uh, if the number of times of rotation that is 2 then output should be 79135 and if the rotation times is 3 then output should be 57913 right so i hope you understood uh, the task what you have to do right so if you understood then please start solving the problem and try to give the answer in the comment section in your proficient language right it can be python c++ or java so currently now i'll solve the problem in java okay so let's uh create the class name so public class main and main okay sorry main okay so what should be our approach to the solution so in the problem statement they have uh, asked to solve the problem using array okay so I am now going to solve the problem using array list. So you can implement using array. Okay. So, what should be our approach? That is, we will at first iterate all the element up to d times. That means the number of time we have to uh, rotate, right? And then what we do? We'll extract the last element and add that into the first position. And again, we'll extract the last element and we'll store that into a variable and add that into first position of this array or array list right so this is how and then we'll return the updated array or array list okay so let's solve this problem okay so at first let's create the array list array list and specify that with integer uh, generics or integer uh, wrapper class and give the name of instance variable i mean reference variable and new array list okay now you can take the input from the user but i am currently just adding the values in the list uh, from myself okay so as i'm using array list so import the array list class import java dot util dot star or array list okay so uh, now just add the values you can uh, run a for loop for adding the values up to n number of times but as i am taking the input from my side okay just i'm 
writing add method to add values inside the array list okay so list dot add let's say one and i will repeat that okay so list dot add one three five seven and nine okay so these are the inputs uh, i mean array elements we had to uh, enter in, inside the array okay now what is our task that is we have to remove the last element from the array and add that into the first position in the first uh, rotation and then we have to again do the same uh, repeated work up to d time okay so what's the d that is the number of time you have to rotate the array okay let's say d is equal to 2 at first okay so now we'll uh, run a for loop for d times to rotate the list so int i is equal to 0 and i less than d to rotate d times okay so first task is to extract the last value so what's the array list look like now that is 1 3 5 7 and 9 so we'll extract the 9 at first then add that 9 in at, at the first position right so let's extract that so how to extract i mean how to remove that 9 from this list that is the inbuilt function remove okay so list dot remove and what's the last uh, element that is uh, the list dot size minus one by this command we can locate the last element right so list dot size minus one and we located the last element then by using inbuilt function remove we are removing the last element and then we have to store that last element inside a int variable let's say last okay so that we can add that last variable value at the first position so how can we add that in inside the list at a list first element that is list dot add at which index we want to add that is zeroth index and uh, which element that is the last right so we are adding the nine at the first position and then in the second iteration we are adding seven at the first position this is how we are rotating the array by two times i mean d times uh, as uh, as per the requirement okay now the next task is just print the list and we will get our desired output okay so print list okay so i hope this will not give any error okay let's see so for the first sample input sorry so 79135 as expected right so let's make it uh, 2 is equal to uh, sorry d is equal to 3 and output should be 579135 right 579135 579135 5, 5, 5, okay so as expected right so i hope this video added value to your career so if you think this video added value to your career then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want python solution then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you and if you want the prime materials of any company then let me know i will give you in the uh, instagram okay thank you for today's session